Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about AMD drivers, Hive OS, and Windows OS, and an issue that I've been seeing or experiencing that I can't quite put my finger on. And I could really use your help in the community to identify what exactly is going on. First off, many of us in the mining scene might have like an all 6000 series GPU mining rig, six, eight, whatever it may be, and then maybe like an all 5000, all 500, or 400 series mining rig. But when we start mixing them together, uh, while some generations work well with the other, when we start taking a older series card, let's say a 500 series GPU, and mix it with a 600, 6000 series GPU and a mixed AMD rig, I've been finding an issue. It might be an OpenCL error, it might be a kernel error, it might be just a system lockup, or when it starts mining, after a while it just locks up the entire system eventually. So I don't know exactly what's going on, but let me let me share more about it. First, what spurred on this conversation was a message or a communication with the hobbyist miner. He states in a post here uh, about four days ago at time of filming that HiveOS does not plan to support the Radeon RX 6500 XT which is a new graphics card that recently came out. Now yes it is poor at mining performance but still some people may want to get these GPUs and use HiveOS to manage their mining rigs. So he states this in a post, he reaches out to the community, the community responds and we could see that HiveOS kind of, you know, steps back and says, okay, we hear you community. Uh, we're going to support this card as well. And so we may get RX 6500 XT uh, driver support in the future. But the problem that I see here, and probably one of the reasons why HiveOS doesn't really update the drivers too much, is unlike NVIDIA drivers, which you can manually update separate from your build of your HiveOS operating system, AMD drivers are typically updated with the build of the HiveOS operating system. And you can see up in the top left here, the driver version we're on is at 20.4. Now this is a Linux or Ubuntu driver version. And the reason that's important is because if we go and look, and we're gonna go back to Windows right now, if we go and look at the current revision of drivers available from AMD, the latest one as of January 25th, 2022, is 22.1.2. Again, this is for Windows, not Linux. And that's very important to determine. So Windows version is, is completely separate from Hive OS. But if I take this driver and I install it on my Windows system, right, I could dual boot from Hive OS into Windows. What I found out is with my Mix AMD rig that has a 590 and a 6800 in it, the system will lock up. I would get an open CL error or after a little bit of mining, the system will crash. So I would go back to Hive OS to see and get 24 seven stability because I'm back on this driver, 20.4.0. 6800 has the same driver version. So it's not like the difference between the 590 and the 6800 is that I'm using a newer driver not compatible with the 590. They're both on the same one. They both have the same release. However, when we look at the Ubuntu or Linux drivers, the latest release is 1.19.2022 and its version is 21.40.2. That's quite a bit ahead of what HiveOS currently has. So my concern is, and even the older versions, by the way, sorry to interrupt myself, even the older versions only go back to 20.45. So HiveOS doesn't even have anywhere close to the current driver level as far as Linux and Ubuntu is concerned. They're all the way back in 2019, I think, as far as the driver version goes, because it seems to be the most stable. Um, but when you start adding new cards, like the 6500 XT, and they're going to have to update the drivers and update the builds to use those cards, will that cause issues if they're on a mixed rig? For example, if the user has a bunch of 6500 XTs, but then also has some 480s or 580s, will that cause issues? I'm not entirely sure but I can only share what I'm experiencing. And for just to give you an example, when I was mining Alephinum, uh, which is a more core intensive algorithm, the AMD cards did not perform as well as Nvidia. Each card on Nvidia, even the 3060 could get like one giga hash or more, whereas you could see the 6800 was only averaging around 630 mega hash. Now, BZ Miner did update their, their kernels or their miner program, and we are seeing better performance on those cards since I originally recorded this video. But the difference I wanna show you is, 
on Linux or Ubuntu with the drivers that were available or that are currently installed on Hive for AMD rigs 20.4.0, the AMD cards kind of underperform, but at least the 590 and the 6800 can both coexist in mine just fine. But when I boot into Windows and I start to mine, and this rig is just going after a, a, quite a bit of time. I'm on the latest driver, 22.1.2. You can see it down here. You can see that the 6800, which of course I'm recording this, or I recorded this at that day, brought my giga hash down. I would average about one giga hash on the 6800. There it is. It jumped up to nine, 900 mega hash. Um, and as time goes on, all of the 6000 series GPUs did perform better than they did when we were in Hive OS. So that fixes that issue. But then after a certain amount of time, the 590 will crash. And what you will notice is comparing the two, right? We have a total of nine GPUs in Hive OS. But then in Windows, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I had to disconnect the 590 just to boot the system. It wouldn't boot. If it did boot, it would get into Windows, but any type of workload placed on the 590 or while the 590 was there would cause the system to crash. So the only way that I could get Windows working again is to DDU or D Display Driver Uninstaller, uninstall the latest version of AMD Driver, and then put it back to a previous version that I had. Now, it's got to be one of the older versions uh, right at the release of the 6800 uh, came out, 6800 or 6800 XT, right when those came out in order for the 590 and the 6800 to coexist on Windows. But the reason I'm bringing this up is because I want to challenge you at home. If you have a mixed rig, does your GPUs, if it's 400 and 500 series mixed with new 6000 series, does it work just fine or do you have issues? Also, if you don't have a mixed rig and you just got nothing but eight 6800s or whatever, take one of your 480s or 590s or 580s and swap out one of those 6000 series with that, that card and see what you get. See if you're getting unstable performance, crashing issues, would it boot, would it not boot. Again, on Hive OS with older drivers it will work, but what happens when they update to latest drivers? Will it cause issues for miners? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I need a bigger sample size and I need more data from users like you. But that's pretty much it in my video. If you have any questions or concerns, leave it down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. But besides that, do me a favor on the way out, hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out the links in the description to help support us in what we do here. You all have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.